another Dennis Close product. So I've done a review on this already on the liquid version, but these are the pads that I showed you guys before that I had, but this is a newer look though. So I showed you guys a box like this, but a box comes inside of this. I went to buy another one because after the chemical pill, after the perfect dermal pill, I did break out. So even though it cleared my skin, it didn't really last because I broke out again. So I went to get this because it kind of helps me um, with my acne. I went to get it, then I saw this box. I just thought, hey, why not try it, right? It comes with something else inside. Instead of just the daily pills, it comes with the um, overnight texture renewal pill. You can see, disregard the nails, disregard the nails. Advanced retinol plus ferulic, ferulic, ferulic. Yeah. So I cut into the box. It's supposed to be used. The the pads we can the pads are daily pills so they can be used um in the am and the retinol is pm two to three times a week but it only only eight of them comes inside i've never used it so i'm gonna try this today i've used this already in the morning my face is washed now, it's night. So I'm only gonna show you guys the ferulic part every night, only because I've done Dennis Gross pill already, the liquid version, so it's the same thing. Um, But yeah. I don't know why I feel scared to use this. I've never really used retinoid by itself before, or at least, I don't know, nothing strong. So, overnight texture renewal pill, advanced retinol. Advanced guys. But yeah, the thing that actually caught my attention when I was buying this um, pill was this image. Even though I've used this product already, the um, daily pills, but the fact that, I don't know if both of them together is gonna make a drastic change, but look, the ferulic by itself, the retinoid and ferulic by itself does this. And then the daily pills does this for the acne. So why not combine the two and see what happens? Maybe I'll get my faster results. But yeah, look at my skin, guys. I did break out. I'm so not happy. I really hope you guys can see. I really wanted to do this review during the day. But... Only because I want you guys to really see how my skin look. Remember, not don't look at only the hyperpigmentation. Look at the little lines also. First of all, from the chemical pill, the last pill, my laugh lines, like visibility, like reduced drastically, honestly. Look, so I still have barely is there my eyes as you can see oh wait, my eyes eyes I just washed my face as you can see so pay attention to the eyes because that's where I feel like I have like little I don't know if I should call it wrinkles or just I'm 30 guys I'm confident. But yeah, I don't really have wrinkles, wrinkles, but like the little um fine lines, I guess. I don't really have wrinkles, honestly. I'm dealing mainly with hyperpigmentation. But yeah, so let's see how this makes our skin look. 
That's how it comes. I opened it. It smells really good, actually. So I'm not going to show you guys this whole process, but I'm going to keep rubbing it in. I'll be back. So first of all, each pad comes really moist because I was rub like massaging it on my face for the longest time. Finally completed it. It's basically dried now. So as you can see, this is how my skin look. It's not sticky. But yeah, it's kind of glowy, which is nice. So look, the box, let's go over this. For this, for the um, daily pills, 100% of subjects. Good evening, YouTube. So today is day two for the Dr. Dennis Gross um, retinoid um, pads. I've used already the daily, I used the daily pills already um, in the morning, but this is how my skin is looking. It's washed already. Look, I really feel like my skin, besides the um, dark areas like my pores my pores literally smoothed out for the most part mind you I just used this item one time I don't want to speak too fast I really wish we had natural lighting so I'm going to try Get the eyes, guys. Okay. So I'm going to apply and I'll be back and show you guys how we look afterwards. So this is how my face is looking. Look. I've been massaging this thing in for a while now, so it comes very nicely moist. It comes very moist, okay? So you will get your money's worth when it comes to that part. It's expensive though. Don't mind me, I, I want this thing in, okay? is complete this is how it leaves your skin nice and glowy which is really nice so just imagine not having scars your skin will look so good but look at my skin I'm starting to feel like I like this better than the daily one But yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Hi YouTube, so it's still day three. My face is washed. I'm applying it a little earlier than would like. It's five o'clock right now, but I got work to go to. Just open it up. I'll see you guys in a few because it takes time to for everything to dry up how my skin is looking after applying it just if you guys can see it lines check Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Hi YouTube, so today's day four for the Dr. Dennis Gross Retinoid. 
Sorry, I'm in a rush, as always. I'm actually considering on cutting these pads. That way it can last for two weeks. But the only problem is, I'm still thinking of how I'm gonna store it. I don't know if a Ziploc bag will do it. But yeah, see you guys in a few. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my skin. It's fine. You guys seen it already. But yeah, I'll be back though. Hi YouTube. So <clears throat> this is how my skin is looking after applying it. Yesterday I didn't really put any lotion on when I was going to work. Because it's very moisturizing. I think I put the Alpha R Beauty on before I left, but that was it. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Today's day five, but I didn't use the daily pills or the retinoid um, ones either because Yesterday afterwards, my skin felt really sore to the point where it's like I kind of got a little scared. I don't want my skin to end up healing in in a way where I'm gonna end up with sores or anything like that. Look here, it looked like my skin is gonna peel there, and I don't want to keep using it and end up peeling it and end up with a sore or anything. So. I didn't use the daily pills today or the I'm not using the retinoid tonight either. I'm gonna give my skin a break. Yeah, see? I swear my skin is feeling. <laughs> oh my god, look. I just look. So you know what I just did? I know you guys remember this. It came with the um, Perfect Dermal Pill, the hydrocortisone cream that comes with it. So I I just used that because this morning, I used the Murad, the vitamin C Murad thing. Yeah. The um, Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So I used this one, but this might be strong, I don't know. I have not really had a chance to like read into any of these stuff, but I just thought, hey, let me use that hydrocortisone cream that I used for the last spill. So, and I just did it and literally, look. I just noticed I'm peeling. Earlier I thought I was peeling, but I was like, nah, maybe it's just like, I don't know why, what I thought it was. I was sleepy so I just noticed I'm literally peeling so this um retinoid cream I mean pad is actually really strong mind you the daily pills I've used already in the past like day morning and night and nothing really happened but together both of them are really strong so be mindful but yeah, so it's actually making me peel. I just hope I don't end up with no type of sores. Look. See how this look? It literally look, my skin looks so thin. I don't know if I should say thin, but look, it look wrinkly. I'm literally, oh my God, I'm peeling, guys. I'm peeling. I just noticed I'm peeling. So I've been peeling, I didn't even realize. Hmm. Here too, I just washed my face. I'm peeling. Oh, wow. I'm literally, I'm peeling guys. This was not the plan. This was not the plan, but cause it's, I'm kind of using it at the wrong time because it's summer. I mean, it's almost summer. So that is really hot where I am. So I haven't been under the sun though because yesterday after when I left for work in the car, I felt like this, 
my face was just sore. So I'm like, you know what? No more um, pill for some days. So today I'm not gonna use it. Tomorrow I'm probably not gonna use it either. But I'm still gonna keep you guys updated because we have to see how this peeling goes. If it's gonna peel, I'm gonna give it a chance to peel before I reuse it again. I'm not gonna keep using it on top of already peeled skin. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow for the update. Today is day six. I just, I didn't wash my face yet, but water did touch the bottom. So I am still, pe I am actually peeling, as you can see here. I'm peeling, I'm peeling guys. Just wanted to show you guys. I'm peeling here, here. I don't know if you guys can see this one. Yesterday I had this, it was really sore, not anymore. I'm about to wash my face. There was peeling here too, but when I brush my teeth, you can't see it anymore. But, so retinoid is really strong. It causes peeling, supposedly, like when you mix it with the AHA or BHA, the um, pads together, very strong. Cause remember, when I use the liquid um, pill, I used it every day. I didn't peel at all. You guys saw it in the other video. But this, the daily pills and the retinoid together, super strong. Because in four days, I'm peeling. As you can see, but yeah, I'm going to wash my face and maybe we'll see how it goes. I'm still going to continue using the, um, I'm not using the pads today and I'm not using the retinoid today either. I'm going to give my skin time to heal. So my face is all washed now. It went away. So it's not like the type of peeling. It's not like the perfect dermal peel where it's like a deeper peel. This one is very superficial for the most part. So it comes off easier. Once you're washing it, it will come off. Look, it's all clear. I put the, um, the moisturizer again, the hydrocortisone one that comes with the perfect dermal pill. Yeah. So it's a very superficial pill. It's nothing deep. Thank God for that. Because I'm not ready for no pill right now. So the superficial ones I like. I don't mind it. So it's something I can do on my day off or something. And I'm good. It's just refreshing. So my eye area looks really bright. I can't even see that well right now. I just took off my contacts. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Because there's no point in... I'm not doing another... I'm not going to use any of the uh, pads today. I'm not using the daily. I'm not using the retinoid today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for any updates. Hi, YouTube. So today is day nine of using the... Uh, daily pills in the retinoid the dr dennis gross retinoid so i haven't used neither of the pads since i started since i peeled or started peeling the other day i'm not peeling anymore though but this is how my skin look today i've i've only used the daily pads today i'm not going to use the retinoid still because my skin i want to just give it time to fully heal i don't want to mess with it right now so the retinoid is really strong and combining the two even stronger so this is it for now i haven't really applied anything yet to my face besides the daily pills but my eyes i feel like it really made a difference in my eye area, like the perimeters. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to um, reintroduce the retinoid in my um, regimen again. But this time around, I'm pro I'm not I'm probably gonna follow instructions this time because it is strong. It's really strong. And if I do, when I do reintroduce it, I'm probably not gonna use it as much around my eyes because the skin around the eye is so sensitive but since i have a problem with my cheek area so i'm probably going to use mainly my like literally this whole d area 
of my face. I did whole face, but skip the eye area. But yeah. So I'm still gonna use the retinoid cream. I um pads, I really like it. I like that it's so strong and I can get like light peeling without really do going through like a whole deep um chemical peel. So I like that. So I'm gonna reintroduce it, but not today. Not today. So yeah. For the daily pads, I'm definitely gonna reintroduce the daily pads first. I just used it and I felt a little um like a slight burn. It normally burns sometimes. Sometimes when I use it often, it burns. It's nothing unbearable. So, but if I had used the retinoid cream, I know it would have been extra sensitive because it took time for like that sensitivity that I felt with the um, with using both at the same time to like slightly wear off. I haven't um, been under the sun at all. When I do go out, straight to the car, straight to wherever I'm going, straight indoors. So I haven't been under the sun, but I'm looking to be outside, but I'm still gonna try to cover my face as much as I can and protect it. So stay tuned for part two when I reintroduce the retinoid cream. Thank you for watching.